hope you are doing well. In this session, we will take a look at one of the frequently asked SQL based interview question for data analytics and data engineering profile. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Let's take a look at data set that we have for this example. We have a table called purchase and we have fields like row ID, order date, and there are three more columns called Zomato, Swiggy and Food Panda. These are nothing but online food delivery app names and under these columns we have customer IDs who ordered food using these apps on given day. Now let's take a look at the task that we have. We have tasks to find list of customers, their total orders and app name that they uh, each customer used to order the food. When we show this result we need to consider only those customers who ordered food using only one app. That means we need to get the customers who use only one app to order the food and they did not switch to any another app so far to order the food online. So these are the loyal customers who are using only one app and placing order for online food delivery. Now let's start building the solution. I will say select from DBO is our schema name and purchase is our table name. Now the approach that I'm going to use here is to combine customer IDs of Zomato, Swiggy and Food Panda just below each other in one column. So our first column will be Zomato and this column Zomato consists customer ID who ordered food using Zomato app. So I will call it cust ID and another column which will tell me which app they use, which app this particular customer used to order the food. So this will be Zomato as app. If we take a look at the result of this select statement, we get the customer IDs who ordered food using Zomato app. I will write down one more select statement like this and I will join the result, combine the result using union all operator. And this time instead of Zomato, I will use Swiggy customers and app name will be Swiggy. One more query for Food Panda. And here we will have app name as Food Panda. I will wrap this query inside a CT. CT will start with semicolon with keyword and name of CT, CT underscore C is the name of CT as keyword. CT will open with open bracket and CT will be closed using close bracket. Within open and close bracket, you will write down your select statement and the result of this CT will be stored temporarily, which can be used by further select statement just after CT. Now here I will say select again and this time I will query this CT from CT is C and I will give it uh, an alias to refer to this CT. I will uh, give alias as C and I will use the fields that are used inside this CT. C dot customer ID. We also need number of orders that each customer placed using particular app. So I will use count function here and I will find the total count as total orders along with customer id and their total orders we need to get the app name that they use so i will use max c dot app as app is the column alias comma and as we have used aggregated function we are performing the an aggregation using count function we need to use group by clause group by and only field that we have that we have in the select list is customer ID which is non aggregated. We need to use that field in group by clause. So C dot customer ID. This will definitely give us the result where we will have customer ID, their app that they use to order the food online and total orders that they place using particular app. This includes all the customer ID. However, we need only those customers who placed order using only one app and they never use any another app. So they are using since beginning, they are using only one app to order food online. So here we will have to use having clause and we will say having is like where uh, clause for group by clause. So we will say count. We need to get distinct count of app where distinct app is equal to one. So for each customer, we need to get their customer ID app that they use total orders. And we need to only get those customers where number of unique app is equal to one. Distinct app is equal to one. If I run this query, I will get the result that is expected. If you take a look at the result that I showed you initially, customer ID 1, 2, 5, 7, 8, 12, 13, 15. These are the customers whom we can call loyal customers. 1, 2, 5, 7, 8, 12, 13, 15. If you are new on our channel, then subscribe us and visit our channel to watch more such videos. Do not forget to like and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching.